Hello and good evening everyone, this is Cody, your dear host. Welcome back to one more episode of QD+. Today I've got a special topic. Um, Beta CE Systems just released its version 17.1 and uh, I think it's worth doing a video because the 17.1 has a lot of changes um, which originally didn't make it into the 17. So um, I want to show you guys um, what's new because usually like nobody I think nobody else than me is reading this what's new whatever and seeing it is I think much more intuitive now uh, I will be doing meta today only um, there is also a huge change um, with Anza and I think it's uh, worth giving it a known uh, episode maybe we yeah, are still thinking about it but I tried out already the the f new features in meta and I think um, I found a good example, <laughs> so keep listening. Now, um, let's get into it. Um, I will just show you, um, let's launch Meta. I will show you um, what's actually new. Um, one of the, the largest differences, oh, it popped up on the wrong window here. Um, watch this window and some people might already recognize a button which has not been there before. Let me just uh, find um, the model which I want to show you. Oh, there it is. Um, a model you can always um, show is the Silverado, like everyone knows it. A trillion billion people, um, I think, are using it. Uh, also me. Um, now let's load some results, the displacement and, I don't know, the plastic strain, which somehow is still under stresses here. Under the category stresses, we have plastic strain, and I know why, but um, still hope that they will uh, do this somewhere else. I don't know. It still doesn't fit. So we have the Silverado, which just has a full frontal impact, and uh, let me show you the first huge difference. Um, bam! In your face. Uh, what you actually see is uh, a rendered result of our finite element results. And you're like, what? Rendering? Yes, rendering. Uh, they actually introduced rendering mode. And as you can see, um, the light reflections are much, much better. And I think the best use case is um, you see these um, bucklings much, much cleaner. Um, also, it's it's just watch it. Um, all of these little buckling lines or whatever here in this area, it's just, I don't know, much cleaner. And just for God's sake, this is the the contrary, and uh, yeah, I think we, we we don't have to talk that the visualization here is amazing. Um, now, uh, for those who are asking themselves, yes, you can actually um, fringe also. Uh, let's put this to five percent. Um, you can fringe the result still on this render. Um, so uh, here once more the change. Um, but I think it's not as strong as when you have the original results. And um, of course, when you want to do uh, really nice pictures for your chief or whatever meetings, um, you can smooth it also on Node and then you get a really nice rendering. I mean, uh, it's really, 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 really cool. A note though that um, they have problems here. You see the element edges. Um, still at these very sharp edges and I think um, they t they need to estimate the curvature of the surface um, somewhere and they seem to fail here but um, I think it's okay because these very sharp edges um, it's it seems to be handling this one here so should be quite fine um, for me oh yeah and uh, please don't don't do um, f serious finite element analysis here when you go on node because uh, I always wanted to show this. Um, you see this two uh, extreme elements when you go on node smoothing it kinda gets smoothed away a little bit and it, it might happen a few times. Um, I saw it at some occasions where you had um, one very extreme element and it just disappears and uh, yeah always remember that such strong gradients here uh, might be an indication that something uh, you should be careful or use a higher discretization usually, but here we cannot do it, of course, because cars are big and huge. Now, um, let's go back. I still have one more to show for you guys here. 
So rendering is not everything, like um, this looks already really really nice, but it's still quite boring. So um, what they actually introduced are also rendering materials. Um, so let me just show you. Um, let's use some uh, glass. Yes, this is one of the visualization whatever nerd nerdy things which you try to compensate usually. And yeah, you really have this awesome glass feature and I don't know. Let's make a red car. I don't know, we want to be bossy with this Silverado here. Uh, I mean, who's driving around with this one wants to be seen? Uh, I think so at least. I don't know. I, I, I would like. Um, so here we go. And oh yeah, we made a glassy door. Very awesome. Uh, maybe never. <laughs> so see this. Um, what I really like is just watch the light reflection. You still have this light reflection, but you also have this diffusion um, of the light because, um, yeah, you can control it. So really, really cool. Um, as you can see here, so very, very nice pictures. I think this will this will impact quite a lot um, when people try to sh uh, show off their models. Now um, I've got another feature for you, but still once again I have to search the file and here it is so um this is the official uh, Schumacher plate um, I called it after my professor because he hands out this model like to everyone um, of us all the time and uh, unfortunately he has a very difficult name for uh, for um, English speakers Schumacher uh, is German, so um, yeah, I try to it. I try to distribute his name here. <laughs> and here you can see what actually happened is you hold the plate here on the left end, and the ball is hitting upwards, and it's quite unstable. And I'm using it for my PhD robustness analysis actually. Now um, I want to show you a really really nice feature. Um, which is uh, for visualization of vector fields. So what do you see here is um, the vector field of principal stress. Okay, major principal stress. Let me just make them uh, larger. So here you can see all of these little arrows um, which indicate the major principal stress. And one of the problems you usually have here is... Uh, oh yeah, it's not making it any better. Um, you 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 want to see structures here like vortexes and isolated regions or you you want to see how the force is actually flowing through this part um it's similar to f you can also use the me method i'm showing you now right now for your cfd uh, but um I, unfortunately i don't have any cfd model currently on my laptop so um i have to do it with structural but i think this is really cool because um like CFD and the velocity field and streamlines is kind of like uh, very similar to I would say force flow and the force flow is quite important especially in a very static analysis. Now watch this. Um, y y it's hard to grasp what's going on here in the force flow field something here and here and here but um, they introduced something called line integral convolution and by the way there is no button for it. You have to type in here uh, LIC in the search bar and then you have to toggle uh, LIC enable all and it will use the current um, vector results. Now what you see here is an LIC image and it's like if you um, very similar if you drop metal cuttings onto um, a plate and you do a magnetic field and the metal cutting is orienting along the magnetic field this is the same just for arbitrary vector results. Here it is major principal um, stress. Now this is not the best example because it's dynamic and um, dynamic actually means that um, yeah the, 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 the force flow is shifting a lot usually. Okay so um, I hope this is getting quite right here. Um, the force flow here the really cool thing is you can immediately see much better what's going on. You see um, vortexes um, you see shifts, um, but also you can see a very clear flow of force maybe. Um, so I really like this this new feature because um, this is like, uh, I like it more than streamlines because it's clearer. Uh, let's say it like this. But you have, um, remember, you have no intensity here. So if it's wider or smaller, um, it doesn't correlate at all. Um, 
So uh, be careful when you when you think, oh yeah, there is a lot going on. There's no intensity on this field. Um, I think, yeah, really really cool feature. I uh, also wanted to show you this one here. Um, there is still a lot of change in meta. Um, they changed a little bit the screenshot settings here, but um, I think uh, everyone will figure out that on his own. And also they changed um, some stuff with NVH, which should be worth um, looking into if you're in, into NVH. But honestly, I have no clue about NVH, um, so I I have no no chance at showing you because you should never talk about something you have no clue about. And I'm very honest here. Um, so uh, that's all. Um, I want to wish you a nice evening, and uh, yeah, see you next time.